Okay, so I've seen a similar setup. Uh, I went to a workshop with Alessio, uh, it's an IOP workshop, where we made one of these, uh, but I haven't actually made one since then. So can you sort of talk me through this, uh, this setup you've got Quick here? Quick reminder, absolutely. This is a, a normal red uh, laser pointer, um, not terribly expensive, and we've uh, taken the battery com uh, compartment off and removed the batteries. Yep. And then at this end, where the batteries would normally connect, we've got one crocodile clip going to the spring on the batteries, and the other crocodile clip connected to the case, which is being used as uh, the positive connection in this case. And then it's going off, uh, th that's being fed, so this is, this is an input. So instead of powering the uh, laser pointer just with a conventional battery with a constant PD, yeah. we're powering it with uh, the output of my iPhone um, going into this, which has its own power supply. And this power supply is gonna be modulated by the audio input. So uh, as the audio input changes, the uh, laser will get power or get more or less power or, or even no power depending on what's happening to the music. And so that depends on sort of the frequency and the amplitude of the, the just signal coming out Just depends entirely on the sound wave that's coming out from there. Uh, yep. It's just a very, very complex AC signal if mm -hmm. you want to think of it that way. Yep. That's then going across uh, the room so you can see uh, the lasers uh, there going through the air at the moment. Yep. And then going to here where we've got a shrouded uh, light dependent resistor, LDR, that the laser is shining on. Yep. And then that's just going to uh, a small amplifier and loudspeaker unit so that we can actually hear what's going on. So every time the LDR receives some light, uh, more or less light, it gives more or less uh, PD across those wires. And when it receives nothing, it gives nothing. So that's why we can't hear anything at the moment. So the LDR just gives an output that goes out to this thing, which is effectively a microphone, and that's it. Uh, amplifier and loudspeaker. Amplifier, yeah. Loud, yeah. Sorry, uh, yeah. Not... <laughs> you can edit that later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want you to look incompetent there, would you? Um, and just to show that it definitely is reacting to this, even, uh, I don't even need to put any music in, just by simply uh, putting my finger in the way by uh, giving the LDR an input and then no input, it will actually give a click on the output. So you've almost got an extremely simple light controlled drum kit <laughs> instrument. Yeah. Some description. But it's far more interesting to uh, stick some music in. So uh, once again, we're going to rely on uh, the great Kraftwerk uh, with their song, uh, The Robots. So that's going to be going into here, modulating this laser output, which then will uh, affect the LDR and the... So we're playing music from your phone through thin air, so cableless, wireless, I suppose, wireless technology, uh, over to the LDR and to the speakers. And just in case, because uh, you should be training your pupils to be reasonably cynical and just say, hang on a minute, how do we not know, you know, hidden wires, yeah. wireless, well, especially these things, wireless speaker, Bluetooth, guess, yeah. things like that, it's definitely the laser that's doing it. That's very cool. So it's a bit like a fibre optic, I suppose, but without the fibre, it's just an optic.